let, let, me, let, me, let me give you the first part of the word Lachim. How about if I put a Beth in front of Lachim? What, is, what do you get? Beth? Lahem. Lachim is bread. Happening is face. It is the bread of face. The reason, the reason why God said, you're going to have this always before me, because this is where my face is. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Wow. This is where my face is. You'll always have this bread before my face. This is where my glory is. The light of my glory is in this bread. You'll always have it before me. It is to never leave the holy place. Ever. And it is to be eaten every day. that? every Sabbath, and only the Aaron priesthood families were eligible to eat that bread. In the house of God, only the redeemed of the Lord are eligible for this table. Because only the sanctified by the blood could eat and drink at the Lord's table. Are, are, we, are we learning anything this morning? Amen. The table of showbread literally means the table of the bread of God's face. Hmm. That's powerful stuff, Vivian. What have I been saying for the past years? If you open your eyes during communion, you'll be aware of your environment because that's all these eyes can see. It's its environment. But if you close your eyes, you might see Jesus high and lifted up and get a vision of him. This verifies on top of what I've been preaching all these years in the scripture, the very meaning of the word showbread. That when you come to this table, the face of God shines on this table. Because it's the table of showbread. Always before him. And here you can see him what did we sing this morning? Jameson, bring up that song. Face to face we sang the first, when we got off the piano, the first one we sang, what does it say? Second. The second one was the second, second one. The second one. Face, face to face. Watch now. Lord, I come to you. Let my heart be changed in you, flowing from the grace that I found in you. Next one. Lord, I have come to know the weakness that I see in me. Uh, be stripped, will be stripped away by the power of your love. Watch now. Lord, unveil my eyes and let me see that the knowledge of your love as you live in me. The next line. Lord, renew my mind as your will unfolds in my life in living every day by the power of your love. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 3. I'm so much for the notes. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Remember what I've been telling you this morning, that John the Baptist from the Aaron High Priesthood. The priest had to certify the lamb, the sheep that was being offered to make sure that it was acceptable to God. And John the Baptist certified Jesus, authenticated Jesus, and authorized Jesus to be the lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. And then God doubles down and said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So in this song it says, Lord, unveil my eyes that I may see you face to face. What does it say? Let's read it together. But we all, with unveiled face, 
beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory just as by the Spirit of the Lord. That's 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18. So the bread is what? The bread of? The bread of? What did I say a little while ago? Showbread means the bread of faith. 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 Showbread. So when we come to eat together of the bread, God exposes his glory to you. Bread of faith. Also in John, I haven't got time to go in John chapter 6. It also tells us that the bread is the bread of presence. In John chapter 6. The bread of presence. Of course, how can you see his face without his presence? So it, it's natural that we would understand the presence of Christ and the presence of our Heavenly Father as we partake of the Lord's table. See him face to face with an unveiled face. Pastor, also in First Samuel, first one, First Samuel twenty-one, when David came to the high priest with his men, and they asked for bread, and said, "There's no common bread. There's only the show bread. There's only the bread on the table." And the priest says, "They cannot partake of it unless they are holy." He said, "These men's vessels are holy." And he was able to give them the bread and partake of the bread because they were holy before God. This face at all? This is a holy place. Amen. This is a holy place. We serve a holy God. This is not just fantasy of a religion called Christianity. The Lord's table is the face of God revealed in a tangible way. The Lord's table is an experience that Jesus said, unless you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you have no life yet. Let us understand the principle of the term showbread, the bread of face or faces. And it demonstrates to us that Bethlehem, Lehem, Bethlehem, Bethlehem means the house of bread. Jesus was born in Bethlehem, the house of bread, and he is the bread of life. Amen. Today we bow before a holy God and we say, Lord, I belong to you. Hallelujah. Would you just close your eyes and kind of put your hands in a receiving mode like this, like I do in a benediction time. And just close your eyes. And put your hands out in a receiving mode.
cleanse our hearts in your presence. We receive right now the mercy of God. We receive right now his grace. We receive right now the very life of Christ. As we prepare our hearts, Lord, to your table, help us to see Jesus as Isaiah saw him. I've said it so many times, Lord, at the Lord's table, that we would experience what Isaiah saw, Jesus high and lifted up and the train of his robe filling the temple. God, we pray at this hour. Change us and transform us right now into the likeness of the image of the Son of God. So the more we see Him, the more we'll become like Him, the more we'll desire to be like Him. Forgive us of our sins, cleanse us from all our righteousness. Although we are unworthy of you, Lord, you, by your blood, you made us worthy. Behold the Lamb of God. ourselves wholly and completely to you, Lord. You do the work that needs to be done in each individual's heart, each home and family represented here today. Remove from us all that is undesirable. We want to be in that pool of Bethesda right now. That we will be cleansed by the blood of Christ, cleansed by the very water and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is so good to be in your presence, not in our own righteousness, but in the righteousness of him who died for us. In Jesus' name, Father, may the experience of your presence be real as we prepare to eat on the Lord's table today. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. Jesus, we receive it now. We receive it now, Lord.